For all your email management needs, look no further than AWeber, the preferred choice for geekoutdoors.com. Sign up today and you can get a 30-day free trial by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. On my continuing series on making the move from Windows or Mac over to Linux, today I'm going to be going on a little rant on Linux complaints. Now, if you have not seen my original video where I show you how to install VirtualBox and then install Linux Mint within VirtualBox, be sure to check that out in the description area below. Now, in the whole software operating system wars, there's always going to be people who don't like a particular platform or operating system, okay? But the ones that are really passionate about it are usually the fanboys and fangirls out there, and they are usually the ones that are complaining about all the other platforms okay uh, or in some cases they're passionate if you want to call that about the other platform and so that's really the group that I'm focusing on and I just want to talk about you know these Linux complaints on and how they relate to both Windows and also for all the people who love Mac okay and so if you watch my channel you know that I absolutely love technology um, I am not like limited to any particular platform I just basically use the technologies and platforms that work best for me and I think for a lot of geeks the majority of geeks that's kind of their idea as well they don't mind having a Linux machine Windows machine or Mac machine they just use the one that works best for them and a lot of people who enjoy Linux they choose to use Linux because of the many benefits that it offers okay and so that's really what I'm going to be focused on and that mainly like I'm not understanding why uh, people defend these two operating systems specifically the fanboys and fangirls so heavily because you know objectively there's really no reason to okay so let's go ahead and get into that I'm going to talk about a few areas where I don't really see the benefits of complaining about Linux because in my opinion they're not really there okay and so what I'm going to be focused on is stuff that objectively I could see that there is definitely a benefit to using Linux over either one of these other platforms, okay? And what I will say right now is if you are a gamer or if you are using software like Adobe software, Apple Final Cut Pro, or you're doing CAD programs, basically, if you have stuff that's only available on those other platforms, then I'm going to leave that out, okay? I'm going to really focus on the things that are available to all platforms, so then it could be as close as possible to an equal comparison, okay? So the first thing I want to talk about is price, okay? So a lot of times when people are complaining about Linux, I think they're leaving out that part of price, Okay, so let's go ahead and start with Windows. You know, it starts at $119 for the Home Edition. You can get the Pro Edition for $200. And of course, you could always get cheaper Windows keys with licenses that, you know, it's not always 100%. You know, a lot of these license keys are actually for OEMs or companies in countries outside of the US or the UK and, you know, other places. And so I'm not really sure about purchasing these. So if you wanted it from... The official sources it's going to start you at $120 okay and then for the Mac OS as far as I know you just can't go out and buy this operating system by itself okay and you can download it through their website however it will check to see if you have a Mac you know whether it is an official Mac or some Hackintosh and so Apple has ways to check that and then you could download the version of the operating system that you want from Mac. And so um, that's as far as I understand it. And so if that's the case, you know, if you wanted to do it the official way, then, you know, you're going to have to have a Mac first. And so that starts at $500 for the Mac Mini. And I think the lowest price MacBook is currently $1,000. Okay, and so that's the cost of entry. And even if you build a Hackintosh, that's obviously going to cost money and it is going to be above the threshold of most, you know, like non geeky people. OK, and so for both of these platforms, there is an inherent cost. OK, whereas in Linux, you know, um, it's free. OK, the majority of Linux versions or distributions, they are all free. 
okay now there are some distributions like say Red Hat commercial versions that are not free okay and so that is the first thing um, you do not have to pay for the majority of all versions of Linux whereas in Windows and Mac there is obviously a cost okay so let's keep that in mind you are paying for these operating system whether it's separately or the majority of times you buy it with your machine okay secondly let's talk about some other things that Linux offers okay I'm gonna first start with performance okay uh, we all really are into performance when our performance suffers okay and if you've used any of these operating systems especially Windows over time it does start to slow down okay now Windows has gotten a lot better with this and then with Mac I would say Mac is a much more faster user experience than Windows but even with Mac over time it does start to slow down although not at the rate of Windows and you know there might be also updates that they release that some people have also mentioned is that it actually slows down your hardware because of the new version so then you can be I guess in a way pushed to get brand new hardware okay so that's neither here nor there but it's out there okay whereas for most versions of Linux the performance it's going to be better for the same physical hardware compared to Windows or Mac okay anybody who's ever used Linux knows that it can run on pretty much <laughs> the lowest spec computer that you can think of okay unless you had a version of Linux that is really a uh, resource heavy you know it's something with a lot of graphics and stuff like say like a version of KDE a KDE version of Linux you know and usually it's going to require more resources but even then uh, in modern computers even the lowest model can run Linux and the thing with Linux is especially for my own experience of using it for a little over a decade now my performance has consistently been awesome okay it does not suffer from the same type of you know like expected slowdown performance that I experienced on the other platforms okay specifically on Windows okay so with all the versions of Linux especially with Linux Mint which is the main one I've been using for years my, my performance is as good as when I first installed it okay I mean that's pretty impressive to me and obviously over time as software requirements go up you know whether it's your browser or any other applications of course eventually you will have to upgrade but compared to these other operating systems I still feel that Linux performance wise it is a better performer all around and it will run on much older hardware okay whereas on these other systems uh, that's not the case and especially with Mac where you don't have a lot of choices on hardware you know you basically take whatever Apple gives you or you could build a Hackintosh you know but that's like I said that's really for more geeky people and so this uh, is really more about people who are general people who are thinking of moving over to Linux okay so that's really uh, the people that I think this is for when I'm, when I'm talking about all these features and also once again uh, leveling some of the complaints that I hear about Linux okay so after performance let's talk about security okay um, that is a highly debated topic but to be honest with you if you've ever used Linux you know worrying about viruses and malware it's realistically it's not something that you worry about does that mean that it's not possible to get viruses and malware on Linux no it is possible it's happened you know it, it happens to every operating system but when I'm using Linux I have far less concerns about security on you know my operating system versus Windows and Mac security is much better and so I know a lot of people who use Mac they're basically the same as Linux users okay they don't worry as much about security okay and so either one of these I would say you know you're good but in my opinion Linux I feel the most secure being on Linux and also it's kinda of like that peace of mind and you also don't have to think about having to purchase antivirus and all these other services you know which does affect your computer okay and so that's another thing the security of your operating system but there's also another level of security as well 
and that is security of your personal information because operating systems like Windows and even Mac they gather a lot of personal information from your operating system and they legally have the right to do that so that is another form of security that I don't think a lot of people think about or take into consideration it is your personal privacy you know security okay they are collecting data on you especially Microsoft okay and the thing is they're legally able to do that because you do not own these operating systems you agreed to a license under their terms to use their operating system okay just remember that and so that's another thing security both on your operating system and also the privacy within your operating system and then let's go ahead and move into stability okay now everybody knows with Windows if they've used Windows for a long time they wouldn't say that it is the most stable operating system you know blue screen of death freezes just all types of issues but I will say this Windows 10 has gotten a lot better at least in my experience when it comes to stability okay I have way less crashes than I'm used to when using Windows in the past however it's still not on the same level as Linux okay even on the Mac OS I've, all, I've also had some freezes and crashes as well and I would say when it comes to stability you know and what I said earlier about performance I definitely say Mac OS is the closest to Linux okay but if I had to compare all the three Linux still comes out on top okay so if you want an operating system that you know is going to be up and that you don't have to constantly reboot if you get an update say like with Windows then the top choice is going to be Linux okay so that is another awesome thing and then finally the one thing that I want to talk about here that Linux offers that neither one of these operating systems offers is freedom complete freedom to choose whichever version of Linux that actually fits you well and you can make changes to it like right here you know you could change it however you want like I have a combination of a Windows interface along with a Mac interface because I like that look and I could change it however I want whether it's visually or I could change it underneath programmatically as well if I develop those skills and that's something that I cannot do with these operating systems especially with something like Mac OS where it's so tightly controlled that they will even make sure that you have an Apple Mac first before you could download updates to the operating system okay or with Windows where you do have more freedom than Mac but you're gonna give up a lot of freedoms as well <laughs> in order to continue using their operating system you know primarily in terms of privacy um, in terms of all the other things that comes with Windows okay and so those areas are really the reasons why I just do not understand you know why there are so many complaints specifically from the whole uh, fanboys and fangirls community of both Windows and Mac okay I'm not sure how you can defend these operating systems so heavily when you are objectively looking at things such as the pricing you know performance stability security and most importantly the freedom that Linux affords and you know the biggest thing that I would put out there at the beginning is the price you're getting this for free okay and you know if if a lot of the Linux distributions were crappy and completely unusable okay I'd get it just because it's free doesn't mean that you can't have any issues with it but in this case these operating systems are built so well they offer so many in my opinion great advantages and freedom that any advantages these have besides what I mentioned earlier about for gamers and certain types of software there is no other advantage that I see here with any of these two okay so that is my rant today on Linux complaints you know and so uh, I can understand being passionate about whatever you're using 
But sometimes I really feel like you got to take a step back and look at it objectively. What are you really complaining about? You know, and then with Linux, to be honest, there's very little, if anything, to complain about. You know, about the only thing I complain about is the fact that Linux should be on more people's computers. And so that's all I had for today. If you had any thoughts on Linux complaints or just fanboyism or fangirlism in general, be sure to leave it in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you wanted to support my channel further, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.